For the United States to move technologically forward, we need to have people who are engineers who are furthering our understanding so that we have more tools, more opportunities to go further and discover more as a society. Moving over here from a different school district that doesn't have the program, it's just amazing because it helps me be able to make this come true and actually start working to where I want to be. I think the best part of this class is just how closely you get to work with each other and with the teacher. You know, it's not like your normal just sit down and take notes type class. So it starts out a little bit like that, you know, just learning the basic concepts. But then as you get into it, it's, it's, it gets more exciting. You start working with the teachers more, and they kind of let you do your own thing. It's a nice environment to work in. And with this type of environment, they actually have to think on their feet a little bit more. And it's actually exposure to a college type of course. So not everything is given to them. You actually have to research stuff and be able to determine how do I get from point A to point B, even if the roadmap is kind of all congested. I'm picking up a lot of creativity skills, a lot of EDD skills. It's learning how to take a simple thought and turn it into a reality. It's just something I honestly like really wanted to put my mind towards building. I've been able to make a 3D print of it and I've been able to draw up sketches and come up with ideas and problem statements to where I can make this come true. So initially the Project Lead the Way program was started off by engineers that saw that there was a need for more of a pipeline of students to actually go into engineering. We've worked with uh, CAD software, so we've done 3D modeling, we've also done circuit design, and so it's a lot of like those professional programs, and of course advice from our teachers when we're applying to colleges or doing stuff like that and, uh, in the job field. This is really fun, we get to learn a lot, we get to do hands-on activities together. Basically we get to understand things together and being able to learn and experience with my friends to see that this is exactly what I do is a lot of fun. When I was a student, I didn't have any of these opportunities. When, when I was in high school, we did math, we did physics, and then we went home. And I think it's great that we get to have these STEM events and as engineers we get to come back and help the next generation of engineers see what it's going to be like to do engineering before they go to school. The sooner we can start doing engineering, the more comfortable we are with it. So what we try to do with engineers now is, is get them involved in STEM activities and get them to do internships and co-ops. And these guys getting to start their freshman year in high school is just an awesome opportunity to start four years before they're ever going to go sit in a college classroom, before anybody's going to worry that they can do an integral or they, they can balance a moment or that they understand the chemistry of, of how composite parts work, or before anybody talks to them about engineering design, these guys are getting to do it. And so that makes it cool, that makes it fun, that makes it great for everybody. It, it makes it great for us because I get to see what's coming along and it, it gives me a break from my day where I get to go do something that's hands-on with somebody that really wants to learn this and really wants to do it. And I get to see that in 10 years when they're in my position and they're trying to help design airplanes, we've got another generation coming along behind us that's going to be ready. We have a setup of four different courses, first off being the Introduction to Engineering Design. And what that involves is it goes through the engineering design process and really learning the proper way to document processing in an engineering environment. Also, they do uh, 3D modeling with software made by Autodesk called Inventor. It's the second course, the Principles of Engineering. That course involves kind of a taste of all the different types of engineering that's out there. Now, the next course will be elective of the program, which is the Digital Electronics course, which involves a little bit more into the electrical area and which it involves in the logic that they follow. Say for instance, if you actually have a circuit board, you're able to actually interface that with a program and be able to communicate so they actually see that you have to have hardware in order to have software. So they bridge that gap. And then finally what you have is the engineering design and development course, which is the last course, which is a capstone, which they use all the information that they've gained throughout all the programs and they develop a project based off of what customer would like. We brainstormed stuff, we made posters, and we had all these different ideas. But we voted on them, and then we built these posters and made a little bit of presentation about what we were going to do. And we came up with a few different methods, just designing different concepts, put them out there, and, and just took a survey of what people wanted in the market. And then we took those concepts from there and started developing them into actual like 3D models and circuits and things. And, uh, prototyping them on like breadboards and stuff like that just to get a better idea of what we wanted our final product to do. 
So now we're kind of in the phase of hoping to finish prototyping and start building an actual model that we can use in the field. And as soon as I talk to a couple engineers about the program, they're like, freshmen are doing this and they can get college credit for it? Okay, cool. They want to get involved. As the baby boomers are starting to retire, there's a need for more and more positions to get backfilled. And if we can provide skills to our youth and get them to the point where they are able to proceed to a college level, then they can fill these jobs. Also, there's possibility that companies can relocate here if they see that there is a pool of people here. Well, it's really important because I want to be an engineer. That's why I'm in these classes, and I really want other kids to be an engineer as well because it's a really great profession. You get to problem solve every single day. It's a lot of fun being an engineer. Both my parents are engineers, and I know that's exactly what I want to do too. It's just really like motivational to be in this class because like a lot of these other students I'm around, I mean, I, they may not notice it, but they inspired me a lot because a lot of them are pretty much geniuses in my opinion. We're in the fourth year class, so we've all been here to, pretty much together since the first year, so it's kind of cool. We're all kind of friends and we joke around and stuff, but it's also really fun when we get down to the engineering things and we start making stuff. We, As we get building stuff and stuff starts working, it's really exciting to see that come together. I'm just thankful to be here, just thankful for all my classmates, for my teachers that I've had and teachers I've had in the past and that this school made this happen.